Transitions, an exhibition of three Chinese artists' recent works, is currently on display in the Chamber's Fine Art Gallery. We had been working with artists who had gone through some life changes. It seemed appropriate right now with a lot of, uh, there's a lot of upheaval uh, in general in the U.S. and just around the world and we thought it's a good theme to, to invite artists to give works that when they were going through transitional periods or um, periods of change, how did it affect their artwork? For artist Dong Yuan, the accelerated pace of change in contemporary China caused her to retreat from time to time into periods of self-reflection. This series, she was starting an exercise where she wasn't planning what she was going to paint. It was only towards the end that she, she linked this to the European Union. This piece is called Union. And that's actually the UK, Britain. It was right after Brexit, so they're separating. Lao Tonglin's series of ink paintings began as a way to cope with his father's long battle with heart disease. Lao incorporated the imagery of blood vessels into his artwork, where they evolved into a dense, layered libraries of interweaving color lines. The artworks are done all in ink and mineral color, so they're very labor-intensive because he has to outline each branch first in black ink, then put in the color and shade it, and only after that he puts in the background color, the blue. So this took months to complete, especially on this scale. Lin Dongpeng employs currency-related imagery in his works. Two Hong Kong currency notes printed on Xuan paper and then mounted on a canvas have been methodically erased. This 50 years or so, there's a generation which he's included in where they grew up during the British colonial era. Uh, and then after 1997, uh, Hong Kong became part of China again. And so he feels that this is a very unique uh, sort of in-between space of about 50 years. It's open to interpretation whether what he's talking about is that you cannot erase the identity or maybe he's saying that eventually it is going to be erased. It depends on your point of view. The exhibition will continue through September the 2nd. For more information from Sinovision English Channel, you can find us online at en.sinovision.net. Reporting for Sinovision Journal, I am Chu Xuan Lu.